Hey there, in today's episode I want to talk about something different, something that most of you may have never thought about it really. Um, so if you have a static mesh, if you go to the details um, in the LOD settings, most of the time you'll see that you have four LODs, but this is just something by default. If you want to, you can have up to eight LODs, which is something that you'd sometimes you'd want to do in uh, PC games. But when it comes to mobile, everything's different. To start things off, if you want to know how sizable everything is with detail, actually, um, in your project, you can just go ahead after you cooked your project. You can go to the saved in the um, in your projects folder you can go to the saved cooked android etc or for example for you it will be android atc or whatever uh, most of the times i do uh, package my game generally in android etc too so there are some things that you can reduce in the engine but will mostly be working in the content folder so these are the content that are being baked or packaged into the final game that you'll have to um, finally upload to either Play Store or App Store. So those stores have their limitations. For example, um, Play Store has a limitation of 2 GB. So if your game is more than 2 GB in size, you have to reduce the size. That's a must to do. So that's as simple as that. Two gigabyte it is it is. So one of the ways that you can do this is to delete all the LODs that you have. I have created something in here. I have this piece of vehicle, armored vehicle in here. It's just a skeletal mesh. Doesn't really matter too much. Uh, since you have the LOD settings and it's completely the same with what you have in static meshes you can you have the number of lod's it was set to four by default and let me show you how so uh the default value was four and then i packaged it and then i went to the saved exactly this thing uh to the vigilante content and then i just copied this folder and pasted it here to show you this is what I got. This is like a 1.4 megabytes asset, which is, it's, it's not a high poly mesh too, it's only 20K. Most of the times in reality, you will get something like 100,000K for your triangles. And with four LODs, you'll probably get something like six megabytes. Then I went ahead and set the number of total number of LODs to one, and then I packaged the game again. And let's see what I got. So go to the Android test content, vigilante content, vehicles. This is what I got. It nearly doubled the whole size uh, when I had the LOD. So it's like you have one LOD, which is about two. 20,000 triangles and then I want another LOD in this case let's see in this case so LOD 0 is 20,000 LOD 1 is gonna be 5,000 this is another mesh that's going to be packaged into your game so if you want to have less size less final package size in your game you shouldn't use any LODs to be honest so LODs are not for, are not built for mobile the way they work it's not the way you want them to work it's it's just something it's just another burden on your shoulders that you have to deal with in the end so the way I'd recommend you doing so is to most of the times just go ahead and put one in your uh, LOD settings number of LODs if it's skeletal mesh it's here if it's a static mesh it's here uh, number of LODs and then you just hit apply changes um, but 
if you for example if you're having something really high poly and you can't reduce the triangle amount because the mesh will be uh, squashed or changed too much and you don't want it to look bad what what you can do is maybe you would want to have two LEDs okay and then the second LOD is going to be really really low poly because remember this is another mesh with having two LEDs in your game you'll have two meshes being packaged into the final package so so this is the 25% of the whole in the reduction settings this is the 25% of the whole mesh so if you go probably to something like um, 0.1 and then regenerate LOD you'll have a less uh, poly count which in the end this means less size less memory usage and more performance and probably it will solve a lot of your issues um, concerning the upload process to the app store or play store or even uh, less than that I mean I know it's just something that's up to you and maybe you could go change the screen size to something like 0.1 because you don't want it to look too bad right um, so after 0.1 it's just it's LED1 which honestly you don't see the difference that much it's a smooth transition um, and that's it that's that's something that's so important if you're working on a production game this is something that you have to keep in mind and that you have to tell other team members that guys the LOD count is something that we have to limit as much as possible because it's gonna kill us in the end it's gonna kill the performance gonna kill the package size which is by the way so important because if your game is just one map and the size is 1.5 gigabytes it's less likely that people will download it whereas if you could just decrease the size with the same amount of content into something like 300 megabytes that's definitely possible though i have a lot of other videos that you can just go ahead in my channel and try to see and try to replicate what i've done and you'll see for yourself that the package size will decrease drastically so this is something that's really important keep in mind that package size is important and lod count is important in mobile uh, I hope it, this helps you and if it did please hit that like button and if you have any questions or anything please say it in the comment sections and have a great day. Bye.